Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Claudia. I have a new Christmas card design for you today. Um, and we're gonna be using the Jolly Characters stamp set. It is such a cute, cute stamp set. I've uh, had all these ideas and then I keep putting them off. So today I wanna try um, making something fun with them. But first let me get shared over to the group and then we can get started. So up close, here's a little bit of a better view of each of the designs. It's it's a whole lot of little stamps. They're all about one inch um, wide or tall or whatever, and they're meant to fit in our die cut um, multi-circle window and multi-square window. So you can see these are about one inch and they'll fit any of these should fit right in, in the square or in the circle. So those two um, thin cuts are available and they work very, very well with these Jolly characters. That's not what I want to do with them. Not this time today. Um, I also pulled out my circle shaker uh, thin cuts. It's my window because I want this big circle uh, to cut out afterwards. I'm not necessarily going to make a shaker window um, but I might do a little bit of, I guess, a fake shaker. So we'll see. And then I pulled out this older stamp set that I have called Cozy Christmas because I want that sentiment right there. The most wonderful time of the year. Um, and that's what I'm going to start with. And I also have one of my stencils because I want to do these stripes on the card front. Um, probably not on the card front though. I'm probably going to do it on a piece of white cardstock and then cut it out with my rectangle, my stitched rectangle. So let me say hi to a few people. Hi, Mary and Giada. Hello, Karen. Hi, Lily. Um, I don't know if I've shown y'all this particular stencil before but it's got nine blocks the whole stencil is 12 by 12 but it's got nine different block sections with some different designs so here's a zigzag um i don't know what these circles with the cross in the middle is kind of like the pittsburgh steelers sign or i guess they're flowers i don't know some wide stripes some other little um cross cut type of flowers, some triangles, small circles, diamonds, bigger circle, and then these smaller stripes. I want to use the smaller stripes and I'm going to use it with, let's see, with my candied apple, distress outside, just in case so I can get a little bit of, of a distressed background after the fact. I'm going to go ahead and cut my my cardstock down just so that I have a smaller section to work with and and the size I know that I will f work with my thin cuts um, so that I don't have so that I'm not doing too much work on it actually so um See, I kind of want my stripes to be at a diagonal because I just kind of want it in the background. So actually, you know what? I'm going to use my all-purpose mat because that helps kind of secure things down. It's got that little bit of tack on it. And that'll help it. I'm going to do it right about that angle so I can put a few put a few more stripes on this end. They are not going to reach end to end. So I'm going to have some um, white. I'm trying to get it so that I can make the most of it. But right there at that angle will be fine. And let's see here. I've got my background sponge or my blending sponge 
I'm just gonna kind of pounce it on. So that I'll get, I don't want any harsh lines. And then I'll just rub it back and forth to get those little stripes. Need to be careful not to rub onto the rest of my cardstock. It's just giving me some stripes on the background. And then I'll line it back up and just make a few more stripes. There we go. Whoop. And I'll just kind of blend all of that out in some areas. I want just kind of a messy background because I am gonna use my um, jolly characters here in a minute to cover up most of that. So boop, boop, let us um, spray that with some water and see what we get. I'm just going to let that soak in. For a second so we get some big old splotches and some reaction there we go let's see hi mom hi Deanna okay. I'm just gonna give that a quick dry Just kind of want that messy background look. And I'm gonna set this whole thing aside. Let's see where our stitched rectangle is. And get that cut out so we know what we've got as our background. Kind of going in stages this time around. not hear the announcement yesterday and I haven't posted it um, but I will do that I'm gonna have a new schedule for videos um, I've got basketball season starting so I want to be sure to be available to go to those games and not rushed on making a card or not worry about making a card there we go just a quick little background um, and those games are usually Tuesdays and Fridays. So what I'm gonna do is probably not do videos on those days. Um, and I think I'm gonna take Mondays off as well because so that day I do tend to work late. Um, but maybe Monday will be on a, you know, wait and see type of situation. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll, we'll see, we'll see on Mondays. So I'm thinking um, that I'll probably just do Wednesday and Thursday. Um, let's see how big this circle is. I need about three and a quarter. I'm thinking about doing Wednesday and Thursday and then Saturday and Sunday. So I'll cut it down to four days a week. And that will give me some room to space out, you know, anything that I've got. Of course, if there's any specials that come up, anything that I think is important for y'all to know, then I'll definitely share that information as it comes up. Let's see here. 
just going to take out some blocks. So kind of going to do a little bit of a random stamp effect. And let me see. So I think for sure we need Santa. Where is Santa? And we need a stocking. Hi, Marta. We definitely need a tree. And a present and a reindeer, you're right. And I think that'll give us enough bigger images and then we can fill in with um, maybe the little stars, maybe the snowflakes, go from there. So I'm just gonna season each of these. I usually rub them on my arm just to get that coating off from the factory. Rub it on your jeans. Um, you can ink it up and stamp it off a few times just to kind of get it ready to go. I am going to stamp everything in black because I'm going to have to come back in with marker. So I'm using our oops, intense black ink. I'm going to just kind of go around one at a time because I don't know where these are going to land in my circle. Just kind of eyeballing it to see when I cut it, will I have everything in there? And I think that's good right there. Let me fill it in with, oh, I guess a little snowflake will do. I'm just gonna stamp it. Let's see. You got some good images there. Okay, stamp that off. And I'm just gonna color these in. Start with a Christmas tree. And just do a little bit of darker at the edges. I don't think I have to do anything too, too fancy considering that they're very, very small. Well, this is a good brown to use on the reindeer. I'm gonna use the light on his whole face and then I'll darken it up with the medium or the dark, dark. And for Santa.
give it a little stripe. See Santa, what are we gonna do with you? I'm gonna kind of keep him a little easy. He's going to outline with the gray to kind of get a little bit of a effect. Oh, I have another tree here. So, just coloring everything in. This is a good little opportunity to just enjoy the process. You can do this in front of the TV, wherever you might be. You can get the kids to help you on this part. I'll have another little guy here. darker in some areas. And maybe his sweater will be red this time. And do the reverse with the green. Okay. Whoa. That little tree needs to go back. Hi, Julie. These markers are for paper. They are not for fabric. So, um, I, I do not think that they will work on fabric. They are alcohol uh, markers, but I don't think that they're meant for, for fabric, so. I don't know, I'd be afraid to try them and ruin the fabric. I'll find out though. You know what? I'll, it doesn't hurt to ask. I've never tried it on fabric, but I, I'm assuming that's not what they're meant for. He's kind of sticking to that red and green kind of color scheme. Oh, I do not want to do that. Okay. 
you could completely um, just do this all one character. Um, definitely, you know, do all the different characters. I'm going to add just a little bit of blue around the snowflakes. A little bit of extra color. And some of them stamped super black. So they're a little bit darker. Now, I can cut that circle out, or we put Where did my die cut machine go? There it is. It's like there's not much place it can go. I'm just running it through twice just because my machine is getting a little bit, well, my cutting plates aren't, are old. And so they're sometimes not cutting as well as I need them to. So there's my little circle that I want to add onto my card. Now, obviously I need something to um, go behind that. That's gonna be a little bit brighter. Um, I do not have a die cut that is big enough to cut. Uh, so I have a punch and I'm not big on promoting other products that, that I can't get for you, but unfortunately without going through the cricket, this was my next best thing. And I'm just trimming it up because I didn't do a very good job on that. Okay. That is super, super big, like, whoa. That's really going to take up a lot of that room. So maybe if you have a three inch circle, and it's exactly the three of the die cut. So what can I do? Thinking, thinking, thinking. So if I cut another three inch circle, that's not really gonna do me any good. And this will definitely cut out a border. I'm gonna show you. So if I cut this on the black, it's gonna give me just the circle ring. And I don't think that's gonna do it for us. So it gives us this or this. I could do that, but it cuts off way more from our, from our design. So, thinking of thinking, The next best thing Oh my gosh. What if we Oh 
I'm lost. I'm really, really just at a loss for what to do to get that. I want a little bit of a black border. And I do not have like a three and a quarter. <laughs> I need a three and a quarter. Let me see what I have. I might have the doily that goes, that'll be big enough. I could try that. I have a scalloped circle, but, oh no, it's too small. Hmm, and these circles are too big. I mean, too small as well. disappointed but it didn't okay I've got this uh, if that's the case then I could have just used the circle but actually this one this at least looks like it's got a design let's try this in black maybe that'll be a little more festive for us Like, I'm going to have to cut a whole sheet of cardstock. So let's get out some cardstock. How big is this? This goes all the way up to the 4 inch mark. Whoa, I better do four and a quarter. Oh yeah, that'll work. <laughs> so now, we really need to get our background onto a card front so we can see exactly what we're dealing with here. This is really pretty. This might have been a happy little mistake. Because now, even if it covers this, it's still showing part of it through. So we're good. We're gonna make it work. I'm just poking all these pieces out. I have a lot of confetti on my table when I'm done with this one. I think I like that. That looks cute. I wonder if we could do it in, if, I wonder if we should do it in green. Let's do a green one. Cute. 
So I'm running it through the die cut and with green paper now. Uh, I'm not sure which green, I just grabbed it out of my stash. But, oh yeah, look, 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 that'll be so fun. Okay, okay, now we really gotta clean all these little things out. What's that game called with the knife around the hand? That we're not supposed to play. Does nobody play that game? it all out like I said my die cut machine not my machine my plates are old and so they've got all these cuts and everything so generally while well, everything should just pop out like these other places well it doesn't happen for me seen any comments come through so I'm sorry if I'm missing anything hi Martha I don't think I saw you come in earlier okay now that we've got all of that We need to decide <laughs> how in the world we're going to do our sentiment. All right. So I'm going to put this on the card, right? Obviously. And maybe I'm going to, I want to do this a little off center. And maybe stick my sentiment right down there. So even some of this might get cut so that it's just, no, I really need that. So this perhaps needs to be a different sentiment. Let's look through our Christmas stamps and see what we've got. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from the gnomes is a good one. It's nice and clean. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Got tons of Christmas stamps to, that I can look through. Probably not a good thing, right? It's way too many. But, um, something easy, something cute. Let's see here, let's see. Well, very merry holiday and this is a cute merry christmas and it could just go right down here 
I just can kind of, I don't think I want to center it. I think I want it off center and that down here. Let's heat emboss this onto our panel. Another day where I started out with one idea and it's turning into something else. I like when that happens. We always get pleasantly surprised. Okay. There's my sentiment and my first mark. Gonna do it down here. I am gonna use black embossing powder so that it stands out against the rest of the card. I don't have green, and green would have actually been really nice. I think we have a green embossing powder. Let's see here. That's a nice little scripted Merry Christmas. Like it can go for whimsical or for a more grown up card. Making sure everything's melted. Okay. I'm going to set this off the card with. Actually, I better do this piece first. So, foam tape on here. I'm trying to decide. There we go. That's really, really cute. So if I put that there, can I put this a little off? Or does it need to go? I think it's gonna have to go centered just because of the size. Hmm, that'll work. That will work. I think I want a little bit though of a green no black to offset that let's see here four by five and a mm. let's see we're gonna do five and an eight and three and seven eight so I just want a little bit of an edge. And I think that'll help offset that. There we go. Just looking for my adhesive. This I want this to stick really well to my black cardstock. And then we're going to uh, foam tape the black cardstock.
it is a lot of foam tape. I probably could have used a foam sheet. Hey, Rhonda, how are you? Okay, let's get ourselves centered. Awesome. And then we'll just stick that on as well. Um, I think though that I need to decide Still put some foam tape on here as well. That kind of shows, so I'm gonna need to pick that up. There we go. Bam. There we go. I, I'm okay with Santa being a little skewed because everybody else is as well. Now, I do have some stickles that I can use. This is the Platinum. And I'm just going to use it to make some little dots on the tree. And they're tiny, so they should dry very quickly. I'll probably put one right at the center of each little snowflake because we do need some bling on here. Okay. And let's see here. How about some clear shimmer brush for our present? Just the bow. And for Santa's hat. And maybe a little bit on the stocking. Just a little scarf. Okay. There we go. I think we've got some bling all the way around. I do see a little bitty. Green piece that I didn't poke out. There we go. Okay. I'm going to leave it like that. I think that's cute. It's whimsical. It's fun. It's shiny. We've got. Let's get that to focus in. Right there. You'll see all that uh, um, texture from the platinum stickles on that tree and in the center of those snowflakes. We've got our embossing and we've got our distress inking on the background. All our stitching, our matting, our foam tape. Lots of goodies on this card. Okie doke. Wow. It's really cute, guys. I think, and I hope that y'all really like it. So let me put it down, see if I can clear out a big enough section. You don't even want to see what's going on over here. But there's my card. So 
Thank you. Thanks, Rhonda. Yes, it's a lot of techniques, um, but it's, um, I mean, it, they're easy to do. You can start combining techniques and make a different card each time um, when you do that. So you don't have to just stick to one. I did use the, the new um, hole punch that I got, and it was too big. This circle is three inches. Um, the circle punch that I got was three and a half, and it was just way too big and plain. Um, uh, even though I realized that this, this thin cut is bigger than what this would have been, um, because of the design, it at least adds more to it. Um, uh, so I think that's fine. I, I like the doily effect. That's it for tonight, guys. Thanks for joining me. Um, remember, I will not be coming live on Mondays. Tuesdays, we have basketball. So I won't see you again until Wednesday. I hope to see you then. And between now and then, have a great start of your week. Have a good rest of your evening. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.